as you may know, if you come to Emmanuel regularly, 2022 is going to be our year of the Bible. And this is a year when we're really digging deeper into God's Word and looking for new and different ways of enlivening and invigorating our Bible reading. And today I'm delighted that I've got Phoebe with me. And Phoebe is going to be talking about something that she does as she reads the Bible, which helps her reflect on it more. Now, Phoebe, I can't help being struck by your beautiful Bible. So can you tell me quite why your Bible looks as pretty as it does and what you're going to be telling us about? I'm going to be telling you about Bible journaling. And um, I just wanted to make the outside as beautiful as I was going to make the inside. Um, and I started Bible journaling and I've written it in the front cover here. Um, in, let me just check, 17th of March 2018 right. um, and I bought this Bible which is specifically made for Bible journaling because you've got spaces mm -hmm. and also on some of the pages it is, um, they've already done some pictures for you. Right. I can't find so one. So they've highlighted certain passages. They've highlighted certain passages. Mm -hmm. Oh, here's one. Um, for you um, to actually do. Um, so there's some already done. Yes. Um, so that's a verse where they've got it so verse, that you can, yes. you can colour. As a child, I was encouraged to read my Bible every day, but it actually made it a bit of a chore rather than actually something I specifically wanted to do and felt drawn, drawn to do. Yes. So when I came across Bible journaling at a big um, Christian conference I went to, um, it opened up new avenues because I was crafty um, and enjoyed um, having things in picture format to understand. It's another way of like embedding the Bible verses in your mind. So you read a verse or a chapter yes. and you just, um, things jump out at you or something specific um, comes to mind as you read it. and. Um, I'll often have a flash of the picture that I want to do most of the time. And this one, for example, was reading about um, the snake in Genesis talking to Eve. And um, it's like, it's always the things that you shouldn't be doing actually seem to shout the loudest. Yep. And I thought, why don't we hear God as loud as that all mm. of the time? So I, I did the snake from Jungle Book here and I put God, let me hear your voice the loudest because mm. that's what I want um, in my life um, mm. and so that struck me at the time and I believe God puts images or um, words in your in your head and you just think about them and then as you go about your daily life sometimes it just um, you remember things. Um, okay that's really interesting so your bible journaling isn't necessarily writing sometimes it is but it's also drawing um, would you say that it's something that you do every day or is it something you set aside dedicated time for or how how does it work as you come to read the bible as a believer how does it work in your life well sometimes even sitting in church and during the sermon a specific verse i'll have a picture of um, what I'd like to creatively do in my Bible yeah. and then sometimes go home and do that. It can be as um, a journaling club where you read a verse together and then you do a picture together. Um, you can do things quickly but quite often it seems to take longer than you think for um, to do it so setting aside time is actually quite good on doing that but I don't do it every day um, although that would be a desire to do that. Yeah. Yes so and obviously for you as a crafty arty person it's quite a natural thing to do. Um, can you tell me if someone like me who actually doesn't have her own ideas in this sort of thing what would you suggest how would I even begin to start Bible journaling okay you can actually um, there's lots of tricks um, that you can learn to do it without actually being crafty yeah for example this is a serviette um, that you peel off and you stick down and I've just left the verses that were important to me um, visible um, you can um, stick things down um, and you can just do any patterns um, again that's another serviette mm. choice but there's lots of things that you can do 
This was a Christmas bauble and I traced round it and then just simply coloured it in yeah. and lightly coloured the background. Yes. So there's lots of tips I can give. Um, stickers are very good. Yes. You can use stickers. And they, these are called washi tapes and they're just lots of tapes that are quite coloured and jolly so you can just stick those down mm. just to make the Bible look prettier mm. and to show that you've read that page you yes. can just highlight the verse that you wanted to. I go around collecting sometimes um, you know the cards that you pick up for tester paint, um, sample. paint samples yeah. mm. and also you can take um, wallpaper samples so you can Great. cover your book with it or you can cut out shapes and stick them in right. um, and sometimes as well you can get pictures or patterns drawn out so you could just use a bit of a pattern to um, decorate and sometimes it's just using lettering techniques so um, you could uh, write out the verse or, or the words that are important and then just colour them in or decorate the letters great. Um, in a fancy way. That's great. Um, and I know that you'd be happy to talk to anyone and that the Bible journaling group is going to be starting up again yes. from Emmanuel for people who'd like to do it. One final question, Phoebe. Um, for you as a Christian, um, setting aside the, the art side that you so enjoy doing. Yes. But for you as a Christian, how does journaling actually help the words of the Bible? You've already talked about them jumping out at you, but what do you think the process is as you journal and afterwards for you as a believer? I think it's understanding that it's God sowing those seeds of the words that jump out of you. That's um, God talking to you. And um, as you do the picture, you're thinking about the words constantly. Yes. And if you're in a group, you're talking about the verse and what that means to each person individually and how that can influence your life and whether or not you need to consider changes of um, the way you behave about something or an action you should take. Um, Wonderful. Or just make you reflect on what God's done for you yes. or you know when you're reading Genesis it's the creation of the world and just how awesome that is and Wonderful. Um, sometimes it just makes you look at things afresh or your environment afresh. Very much so. Yeah. Phoebe thank you so much it reminds me of that verse about hiding God's word in our hearts um, just even as you open your Bible and reveal what's within, but also the fact that just by pondering on it and reflecting on it, you're hiding it deep within yes. and it's sowing seeds. So thank you yes. for talking to us today. You're welcome. Mm -hmm.